so we're here at the Mobile World Congress. Hi. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? This, you have a really nice big booth right here. Oh, thank you very much. You know, we tried to improve on CES at, at the uh, Mobile World Congress, you know, in Barcelona now. And uh, so the Cosmo is coming? Yes, yeah, so we're showing the, uh, the sample of the Cosmo outside screen. So showing the bit of bits of the UI and how we see these things working for the new uh, Cosmo Communicator that Planet Computers is uh, launching uh, later this year. It's, it's approaching very fast, right? It is, and I can happily say that the PCB is actually going into the uh, first production, first production run, which, well, first run, uh, actually, it was closed on Friday, so it's going uh, into production now, and also we closed the mechanical design, which means that both the mechanical design, we can go into tooling, and we can go uh, into production of the PCB for the first prototypes, right? So this is very exciting uh, because a lot of things have now been fixed. There's not a lot uh, left to do in terms of uh, changes, etc. Hopefully, hopefully, you, you know, but uh, I think we're, we're pretty much on track, uh, which is good news. Stable, it's gonna be stable. Uh, well, it's a new device, you know, it, we hope it's, it's extremely stable, yes. And then uh, I saw you have a partners at the booth right here. Doing yes, something so we're cool. very pleased to have uh, Oxense with us. So for the Gemini, we, ha we have a few announcements this week. Um, one announcement is that we will launch. We're launching the Android 8.1 uh, on the on the Gemini. So <clears throat> at the moment, uh, Android Android was uh, Gemini was shipping with uh, Android 7.11. Now we've achieved GMS with Android 8.1, so we're extremely pleased with that. And um, there are some versions that will be available this week, uh, let's say candidate release versions from our support website. So look at support.planetcom.co.uk for uh, the new uh, 8.1 Android, okay, for Gemini. But as well as that, we are announcing some new things, and one of them is with our partners, Oxens, who are, I'm very pleased, are joining us at the stand this year. So we can walk towards uh, them and see a little bit. These guys from uh, France. That's correct. So it's a great company, and they have a great system called Oxy. And basically, what happens is, when uh, when we're when we're looking at the, the uh, Gemini, if you plug it into a large screen. So it's right here. Yeah, so if you see the Gemini here. And then you when have a PC mode. into the large screen with uh, HDMI, with our HDMI cable, we can create uh, with Oxy the windowing environment. So we can get multiple applications. But nice. maybe, maybe before we have a demo, yeah. maybe uh, we can introduce the team. Yeah. So, uh, Jeremy. Hi. 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 I'm uh, Jeremy, and I'm a CTO of Oxense, and the lead developer of the project. Nice. So, and hi, who are you? I'm Laurent Fraisse, I'm co-founder of uh, Oxense. And hi. And I'm Rod Nen, and I'm developer on uh, Android at Oxense. So, um, you are using the Gemini PDA right here, yeah. and you, you modified something, so you have a full desktop mode and the second display. Yeah, yeah. As the Gemini, Gemini PDA uh, has a HDMI, HDMI out, sorry. Um, we can connect it to another screen, and then uh, with modification of the system, uh, we yeah. added our uh, software. Let's uh, resize the windows, you can yeah. show. So we have a full desktop environment with a resizable window, and um, you have access to all the Android application on the phone. And uh, you have also access um, to remote application, so uh, virtual application. Those are all the apps right now this on the Gemini the PDA. And then you have some extra apps that are running yeah. through the cloud? Yeah, yeah. So all the apps with Blue Dot are running on the cloud, and all the apps without are the apps from the phone. So, for example, I can launch Google Maps, uh, which is on the phone. I don't have much connection, yeah. but was maybe so not the, the, the maybe the Wi-Fi connection is a little bit slow? Yeah, yeah. But and I have access to Excel. I can launch, uh, I have a non buttons running right now. I can um, start uh, work, for example, yeah. with uh, yes. the four gigabytes of the Gemini KDI, uh, we can launch a lot of applications, at least 10, 15 applications without any issue. And you, you can still use the phone at the same time. 
And this is just using their um, Type C to HDMI adapter yes. right here. Yes, yes, yes. And at the same um, time, you want to be charging. Yeah, you can charge it at the same time. We can disconnect it. That's okay. And this one can also maybe be used for a hub, I think, maybe. Um, uh, I don't remember. One, yeah. one, one of the two can be used yeah. as a, a USB and it's and still the full yeah. Android here. Yeah. But then uh, at the same time, desktop mode. Yes. And it's smooth. Yeah, it, it's smooth. And uh, do you want to talk a little bit about, uh, so, so what are some of the challenges uh, at Oxens right now? So, you, you're getting, uh, getting the software to work on many different things? So we are actually working uh, on bringing a digital workspace to Oxens. So yeah, uh, yeah we are bringing our, our Windows application, uh, on Windows application, like uh, on, on the devices. So you are connecting remotely yeah, to a cloud system, system. Yes. that so runs like full it. Windows apps, yeah. so like, like this one. This is a GIMP that is launching on remote. It's a full GIMP, yes. yeah. desktop GIMP. This is full for And full. it so feels like a local? Yeah. It feels like a local? If you uh, are another in a trade show yeah, we and you have good internet? Yeah, we have a good internet connection. Yes, it's re really good. Uh, we have less than uh, 50 minutes seconds of latency. Usually 20, 25 minutes second, so it's quite fast actually. For um, office usage, for professional usage, uh, it's quite it's quite efficient. Uh, are you able to do all your work on the Gemini PDA now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do all your all your apps, whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And, uh, I was actually I was uh, talking about talking about uh, some yeah. people from from the Gemini before uh, to be able to. Uh, Flash on the work on devices from the Gemini itself. So flash? using yeah, using the Gemini to debug other phones. <laughs> You're so, doing that? No, I, I haven't thought about of that, but I think I might try it uh, soon. But yeah, for for an office environment, um, the Gemini PDA plus Oxy plus the digital workspace. Yeah, you have a full uh, desktop environment, the full uh, productive environment, and all your usage are just one device. And so you just come uh, to the office, you put it blank, blank, yeah. desktop, yeah. do your work, and then uh, pull it out, all your apps, not the Windows apps, you cannot have it in normal Android, only in the desktop, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah you have it only on desktop. And, um, on the, so if you are, for example, if you are in um, somewhere with internet connection, you can work with full, uh, the full uh, Windows application. But when you're on the go somewhere where there is not so much internet connection, uh, you can just use uh, the local application, which might be a bit less efficient than the real one, but you can still work. That's, that's the point. Uh, it's uh, on when you will uh, get some connection back, you will just start again to work. It will synchronize with the digital workspace, and you will still continue to work on the same document, uh, but with the full environment. And um, right here, this is the lab dock. Yeah. And uh, you're running a BQ phone that has a mm -hmm. Type C. Yeah. This is a BQ Aquaris uh, X2 Pro, I think. Yeah, it's a Pro. So can you show a little bit? Uh, you yeah, have sure. all the yeah. all your so, apps. Yeah. So this time it's the same. We have all the apps uh, available on the phone plus the application from the digital workspace, and we can still use the phone at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I can so this is uh, to be seen if um, there will be a way to get this in here with the HDMI to DP converter. Mm. Potentially, it could just work with the lab dock too. Yeah. Uh, but then the the commands have to go back with the USB. Yeah. Well, that's a challenge maybe. But uh, uh, with that one, that's okay because with uh, DisplayPort, uh, we uh, we get all the uh, inputs back for, to the um, uh, to the phone. So keyboard, uh, touchpad. Uh, we could even uh, we can uh, even have uh, some uh, USB inputs inside SD card or camera, so we can get back uh, to the to the phone. At the same time, um, the laptop can charge the phone. So there is just only one cable 
on that the magic of D DisplayPort and of uh, Display con DP connectivity, you just plug them. That's it. You forget it. It's but just going to charge the phone. It's not sure yet if this can be happening on the next version of this, the Cosmo, maybe to do the, the whole. Maybe but right now, version, this one yeah. is a desktop yeah. on the on the desktop yeah. screen. This is just at the at the desk yeah. at home. This is a video output, but at the same time, you have two USB-C connection, so that's really okay for that one. <laughs> nice, and you do it uh, in 1080p, right? Not 4K. Um, that one is uh, yeah. This one is on uh, Full HD, yes. Full and, HD. Uh, Maybe the Cosmo will run to 4K. I'm not sure. I have to ask. <laughs> and uh, this is Mobile World Congress. So you're trying to get some. You want a lot of different phones to support the Oxy, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, if we so can... how many phones can support it so far? So far, uh, officially. <laughs> so you have a big right here, but yeah. uh, there of... is uh, Huawei and Samsung have Type C GP, but any there was an essential, right? Yeah, uh, we had it working on a lot of phones, especially with um, the treble work uh, for Android. So it's a lot easier to port uh, Oxy on different phones. Um, so the treble makes it easier for everything to get updated, or what? For, for regular people, it should help them to get uh, more updates. Um, it's not really, really true, in, the, in fact. Even for us, it's not really true, but it helps a lot. It's not like life savior, but it helps a lot for us to, uh, to push Oxy on new device. Um, so we can port Oxy on unofficially right now on a lot of devices, especially BQ, uh, essential phone, yes, uh, we, had, we had it working in the past on LG, on the, some other Chinese phones. And uh, officially, right now, there is Vegemi, uh, which is... Uh, How much work was it for you to make it work? You just know what to do to make it work? Uh, we start to have a, a bit of experience on, <laughs> on yeah. the Android system, so uh, we know that working uh, uh, with different uh, manufacturers of uh, system on chip can be difficult. Uh, for example, we know that Qualcomm is quite standard, but when we go to MediaTek, it can be a bit more tricky, but we are used to that now. Can you have a little app, a little icon here? When you click it, then it actually puts your UI here, or is that too much? Uh, actually, it's disabled on that one, but we could, yeah. You could? Yeah. We, it we would be like a little icon? Uh, to, to have it, like, walking here? This and this. Or you can choose. But if you want, if you don't want to use an external display, maybe also run it here, you know, your UI. Uh, as the main UI. Yeah, we could... Uh, uh, yeah, we can have one here or here, yeah. if we want. And on, for the two, for the two screen, this is actually in our roadmap uh, for this year. So, just wait and see, and okay. maybe some nice surprise in the year. <laughs> cool. All right. So um, this is getting smooth. Is there any updates on potentially having support for consumer uh, consumers to have regular consumers have access to this functionality? How soon? Uh, Can they just get it now? Get it now, uh, really soon with the, with the Gemini for sure, and uh, with other phones. Uh, Depends of uh, how we can uh, convince uh, convince uh, manufacturers to integrate Oxy inside. And um, so you are having this beautiful, amazing, uh, uh, what's it called desktop apps running through the cloud on the UI, just in a window. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance you could potentially run Ubuntu apps natively, or is that too much to change the Android to support that, or? Uh, um, you know, is that so too much? So without, without system change, do you mean? Uh, uh, let's say to have uh, Ubuntu support on your Android. Ah, Ubuntu, Ubuntu support. apps. Ah, okay. Um, That's I'm way a too strange. I'm, I'm a technical guy and I, I like challenges, so I would say, yeah, technically, it should be possible. <laughs> what do we but, need to do to make that happen? Uh, a big modification in, in the Android? In, in, the, in fact, I think if, yeah, if we search root, uh, uh, it might be possible. Actually, uh, there is some features that is in roadmap, but for specific okay. users, is to uh, embed a X server inside Oxy, so we can run a Linux application remotely by SSH. Um, but this is like roadmap plus plus. <laughs> because this phone is famous for dual booting. Yes. And it may, I think triple booting and stuff. And uh, triple booting, yeah. Actually. It's doing all these different OS. So how can you take advantage of that, potentially? 
Uh, good question. Uh, I haven't thought about that, so... Let me give you another crazy question. Because uh, um, Windows, Microsoft uh, uh, is working on the ARM. Yeah. You know? So what are the chances that we might be able to run some Windows app natively on the Android? On uh, your Android? Good, good question. Um, if, we have, if we are capable of uh, running with, um, of having the runtime compatible with Android, uh, yes, we, we could definitely run Android, uh, uh, sorry, Windows application on uh, Android. But we would need support for the uh, runtime, the Windows runtime, which is okay. might be a bit difficult to have. For now, you have the first solution right now, just cloud, just doing your system over the cloud, running the apps over the server, right? Yeah, for at, at least for uh, for business, yes. For um, for us, we have the best solution, definitely, because for company, if you have uh, application on the cloud, you can use it. If you have application. Um, if you have application uh, on Android, you can use it. And if you have still have all the application, you can just run it through your through, through our um, uh, digital workspace, and then you can access it. So, in all case, this is sufficient for companies. Uh, but for general consumers, uh, we 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 think about um, some kind of uh, cloud services for consumer grade with access to different applications, maybe some subscription to uh, services. Uh, so for photo editing, maybe for uh, office work. Yeah, we'll see in the future. So what I, what I want to do what, uh, when I get back home, I'm joking, but is mm -hmm. I, I want to do 4K video editing using your system. Mm -hmm. And I would have a hub with my SD card, right? And how do I get the file into the app? Because it's on the cloud. Yeah. Do you have a cloud storage area too, uh, or does it just has to upload, stream the file up? Or this, this is in development actually. It's a unified storage uh, with intelligent, intelligent, sorry, uh, synchronization. So that means uh, it will synchronize only the most recent files and um, nice. the most recent files, most usage, uh, most probable of use. And um, so if you disconnect, you can still use the file on the phone. If you reconnect, it will synchronize both files directly as, as soon as possible. And it will be uh, compatible with the um, file system of the enterprise. So that means if it's a, a window file uh, server, nice. you will be able to use it. If it's web dev, you can use it. If it's yeah. something already uh, integrated like Google Drive, Google yeah. Drive or uh, OneDrive, you can use it too. So you what can I'm actually, hoping... if it's OneDrive or, uh, or if it's something that already has um, a synchronization agent like Google yeah. Drive or uh, One, OneDrive or Dropbox, you can use it right now. Nice. You just click and uh, the file is right there in the yeah, you have, you have, video editor yeah. would run. You can, you can integrate it inside the digital, works, uh, digital workspace and uh, you have access to, to the file from your, from your Android application and from the re remote application. Nice. So how's this uh, Oxens uh, experience for you so far? Uh, you've been doing lots of technical stuff, right, yeah, in your career? Yeah. <laughs> lots of cool things. What were you doing before? Uh, before, I worked also on, the, on other uh, Android systems. Uh, so for me, going on in the system, it was a bit, I was a bit used, but uh, now that we have uh, more experience uh, in the, in development of Android application, complex Android application, but also Android systems. Uh, yeah, we have a um, possibility to help people, to help companies uh, to do projects with Android. So, 